Hey guys! We're Rigor Robin Pimsy, and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, yes, that is the game we're going to be playing today. Uh, Pimsy mentioned this a little while back. Yeah, it looked really good. I think I saw it on TikTok. Um, yes, you did. We haven't put it up because Rob said it plays as soon as you it go It plays into the automatically, game. so you can start playing now, and we'll just talk about it as we go in. And yes, it's on Riggy Rob. Um, but yeah, this is basically, it's one of those games that's considered an indie classic, but it also is sort of some people think badly of it because of the type of game it is, because it's one of the games that people have described as a walking simulator. So, do you know what I mean by that? It's basically a game where you just walk around in a first-person perspective and you're just investigating a world, and there's not much else to it other than that. So, so I've been told. I've never seen... Oh, hang on, I need to switch over because it has paused! Uh, let's see... Do you want me to pause this? Hold on a sec. This might mean new capture card time, but we'll see. Is it, is it kaput? Uh, try going on to the game now. There we go, it's playing now. <laughs> yeah, so the, the capture card itself has just been hitching a little bit. But anyway, so What Remains of Edith Finch is a game where you play as Edith Finch, and you are in completely first-person perspective, and you can start moving around the, the world now. So, oh, right, okay. So, so yeah. I'm... Um, uh... Camera with uh, the right stick, movement with the left stick. So, I would do you. Well, are there options? There are options, but you don't get to change any of the controls other than the camera. So, so you, there's no, like, select. There or is no. Yeah, it's one of those games that you have to play it to figure it out. Okay. So, you have to go around the world and press buttons and see what those buttons do. Um, so, I don't really know anything about this apart from a very small ah. clip that. I saw and it's kind of a spoiler for what the game is but then some people say you can infer it from the title anyway uh, got so it, got it. Okay. a lot of this isn't going to make sense to you and I'm sorry about that okay I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house oh so you're actually you're playing through the story of Edith Finch okay well that makes sense then so yeah so like I said this is an indie classic it's not a very long game. We can finish this in one stream. It's an art until I was Yes, 11, it is. But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Fox club. Yes, fox gloves. Poisonous. Very rich family, I'm assuming. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. I'll be honest, I didn't expect... Edith to be narrating this game herself because typically in a walking simulator there is no one to talk to. You don't know this is Edith. I know. No, no, this is Edith because she's saying about her story. She lived here when she was 11. No, the person's reading the book. So it's a first person book, but you don't know it's will, that my person. My mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. I Maybe guess she not, no. Or we're playing through her, to bring me back. her story, but we're not... The person reading the book might not be Edith. Well, yeah. to be fair, most people that have their name on the book, it's kind of a diary, so... That's supposed to go up. I have no idea. I mean... So, this is getting deeper into the forest, but this cabin in the woods kind of thing is going to be in the forest anyway. But yeah, you're gonna have to sort of. There's not not not, not gonna be a map with directions. You're gonna have to tri pretty much figure out where to go based on. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go narration. up, but I was just wondering. Well, you can go wherever the game will let you. Like if you're hitting a, an invisible wall at some point, then the obviously is, you can't go any further. Oh, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Well, the other thing is, obviously, I had a quick look the at the options the menu. Always been uncomfortably silent, as Very if well. they're about to say something but never do. I had a quick look at the options menu, and there's a family tree of the Finches in the options menu. So if you ever get sort of confused about who is what or where, then the options menu has that. I think I was supposed to go up. No, no, I think this is heading to the house. I think you probably they probably both make their way around there. Exactly, yeah, like, you know. It's it, this is a linear game. It's not one where you explore an open world and go in oh, yeah, multiple different see. places. 
Like yeah. you might get different dialogue depending on which path you take, but I doubt it. You wanna go for a swim? Missing. Missing. JRM 1187. I don't think that's gonna be important. No, I don't think so either. Crocodile head? Where? It's a fake one, it's in the background. Oh, plastic. right, I thought you were talking about genuine. I don't know. Roof? It fits with the swamp decor. Like the house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I've been dreaming about it. That is one rickety house. That is that is a series of unfortunate events. It is, house, yeah. Isn't it? I go down here and see the pop about. I mean, and if you want, but I don't imagine there'll be anything. Like, I don't think there's going to be collectibles or, you know, it's just points of interest that you're interested in looking at because they're interesting to look at. Yeah, so that there's another can missing is floating. Poster. Yeah, yeah, you know, it happens. Like, you can get AAA studios that can't get objects to line up perfectly, even with physics-based systems, because it can break things, <laughs> so, you know. Just one of those things. Milton Finch mm -hmm. is missing, not even. I don't As know if a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. What well, of course you'd be this? uncomfortable. Look As at a it! year old I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. So this game must be set in 2016 then, because Edith was born in 1999, according to the options menu. Are you going to try and... Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it worked. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to do yeah. that. Well, the door might be locked, so... I didn't check. <laughs> The power had been turned off the night we left. Like, interact with me. For the first time in mm -hmm. years. But there's me thinking, oh yeah, I'm being I felt like I was home. <laughs> my gosh, it's like my... <laughs> no, that's a lot bigger. This is, I bet, this is all American Alright, it's a lot bigger, but let's have a look at it. So, there's a table right next to the cooker, mm -hmm. with pots and pans everywhere, wine left out, candles and books, and then dirty dishes. And tins of cat food. This is, just this is fish, my but... kitchen. There were just memories of one. <laughs> oh, like how takeaway boxes. Yep. Would deliver to our house. If so Chinese. Chinese a lot. <laughs> it's literally well, my again, house. if your house is out in the middle of nowhere, chances are delivery places won't go to you. Nobody. They don't use that toaster. It's very clean. Well, I don't think you're going to get like all the nitty gritty crumbs and details in there. Lewis Finch died in 2010. So somebody's Brother missing. Brother to Edith. Somebody's missing and he's dead. Yeah. So the Finch is not a family with great luck. Left or right? Left loop. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Can you kick him off? Because it's really hard. I can't kick him off now. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Get down. Lie down. Months Sorry, later. we have a cat in front of the TV. He's making me feel a bit motion sick. The cat's making you feel motion sick? Yeah, because he's in front and I can't concentrate. <laughs> mm. Alright, well you're going to have to just get up and move him at some point then. So we've got Edie in the, the wheelchair as well. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Right, so that's why she's in a wheelchair. Mm. Great Grandma Edie and Edith. Depending on how long this is, I might not be able to do it. It was just treat. too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Love that fireplace. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. The the house sank. So that's why they propped it up then. And that was clever. The yeah, the text going into the yeah, fireplace. What a mansion. Barbara. Mm. That's sad. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. 
along with the rest of the house. So Sven built the house. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, so maybe the front door was locked, but the key didn't work for it anyway. Yeah, maybe. We didn't exactly check. So this is good. This is like a, a mystery game. You have to figure out what happened to all the people in the house and the obviously the character is explaining different details about them. Much of an optimist, yeah. But she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Mm -hmm. So in case you didn't see the missing posters before, going to the front door shows it. Behind in the yeah. whirlwind of that last night. That's a strange door lock. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Ugh. Can you imagine that? Having all your family members buried in the house that you live in? I can't. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. So great-grandma Edie... Katie's was physically strong enough. The original house. This must be all right. This is Barbara. 1944 Barbara to 1960. Star for two years, until America grew out of it. We must go through each person's room with the different keys. What is keys. that in the background? Do you see that? Yeah, but I think we'll go through each room. Once we found the way to open them I all. I think every room you get a new key. Oh, okay. Might be wrong. Oh, that makes sense. It's a good way for it to unfold. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. So she was a child star? Yeah, for two years. 1944 to 1960 is not very old. Most had children very young. That's like 16. Unless that's the, the years where she was an active child star. So obviously children grow up so they can't. Oh, because that's 1917-2010. Huh. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. Okay. Alvin. Again, 11. 11. My Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Yeah, this family's got some issues. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Gregory lived in the bathroom. Gregory was a baby. Huh? Well, come out of here and look at the date again. Oh my god. That's awful. Mm-hmm. But okay, so I'm a bit stuck now. Well, for these rooms, yeah. Oh, right, there's another way. Realistic photo? Ugh. Molly? She was 10. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Huh. Okay. Oh, and there's an open door. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. What well, happened to all these children? Passages, but I never believed him. Twenty thousand so leagues under out. the sea. Ah. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> but an interesting way to. Open now it was time to find out passage. what mom had been afraid of. <sighs> Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Now we're in the rooms. Uh huh. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. And the game is saving. All right. So whose room is this? Wally. 1947. Oh no, hang on, this is... 
Okay, so yeah, so... No, you might be right. If this is Molly's room, Edie and Sven's room is across. And then there's another room that I didn't catch the, the name on. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Mm -hmm. Molly's room. gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Jellyfish. So go back to the thing on near the window. You'll be able to see the other room above Molly's is uh, Barbara. Barbara. Right. Okay. Okay. Right, well, I guess. Oh, I open the door. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, that necklace that was on the door, the cupboard door. What? That. No, that's not anything interesting. Either. Okay. Hmm. And we're back. So, we're still in Molly's room. Uh, we can't go back the way we just came, so we have to find something in this room to let us out. I haven't looked on the floor yet. True. Something on the floor might work. Oh, okay, I haven't looked at this. Mm -hmm. Also, we're kind of reliant on natural light here because there is no power. So the game's brightness settings Aha. can also be changed if we needed to. Got it. Ah. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. So we're traveling to another I diary. And I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Well, carrots, good enough. Mom, can I come out now? And we got Wedgie here. This game hello, is really okay. good. Also, hello. Hello, Wedgie. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, yeah, we, we're intrigued by it. Just oh, finding out what happened to all the family members. All gone. So she's eaten a raw carrot that's uh -huh. half eaten from a gerbil. Yep. She's got no candy left. Ooh, fishies. Oh, oh, I saw a prompt. Oh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Good, good. good. <laughs> YG says, I felt my full range of emotions <laughs> playing this game. How are you two and how's Lit One been? Tired. Yep. <laughs> Pimsy's tired, Lit One is good. Um, little One is like hyper as fuck, he doesn't stop. Yep, keeps Pimsy on her toes. Eating and eating. Uh, oh, ooh, no. I guess I can kind of see where this is going to go. I don't think. I ate funny. a lot of things that night. Uh -huh. Pretty sure they're poisonous. Yeah. That might be why a lot of the family members died young. What else can we. Uh. Well. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Uh -oh. She's gonna eat the bird. As long as everyone's happy and healthy and has enough wine. Swallow going back to her nest. Well, Pimsy's not got enough wine, but Can't otherwise, yeah. And suddenly, <gasps> I was a cat. He's a cat. He's turned into a cat. Uh, I guess you need to jump up first and then jump over. Oh no, no, no okay, I can yeah. Do it. I tried Ooh. to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Face the bird. Birdie, birdie. I will find. I mean, she could eat the fish now. I guess it's more socially acceptable to eat a fish if you are a cat. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh, can you look in the window? Hello. I think I go along. I would assume so, yeah. 
bird boxes. Who's hanging up these bird boxes and lights? <laughs> this is your main goal. Eat the bird. Oh, hello. Free house table. Oh, oh, okay. Jumping through the table now. I assume jump onto the chair, then the table. Like oh, you have to man, point. This is making me feel really sick. You have to point your camera up so you join, jump up. I could tell she was getting really tired. Yeah, there you go. Where's the bear? Uh, didn't see. Uh. Oh yeah, there you go. Now I was up in the big tree. The big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. I mean, when oh, you're a I cat, it's a bit different. Eating that mama bird. Bird. I gobbled her up. Oh no. Well, I'm on. Suddenly, I was an owl. Oh. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Okay. Little teeth nibbling in the grass, then. Are you trying to hunt down some mice, gaping nim? Rabbits. Rabbits. Oh We're going rabbit hunting. I got it. Yep, yeah, you got it. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Made me feel really sick with the uh -huh. perspective. Yep. Ah. I didn't chew one bit. Yeah, then that's kind of how I'll do it. Find something bigger. bigger than a rabbit, really? You must be a huge owl. What would an owl eat that's bigger than a rabbit, though? A mama rabbit. Oh, a mama rabbit. Oh, okay. It's just a bigger rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. A shark in a tree. Uh, uh, okay. Hmm. Seems a little out of place. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright. I didn't know what to expect from this game. <laughs> and I still don't, funnily enough. Get the Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy Rise. Oh, oh I whoa. Up and into the ocean. Okay. Now, okay. I was hungrier than ever. Uh, Elden Ring in one month and eight days, and aren't you two on the same couch? No, we are not. We've got separate chairs that we can spin individually. Um, I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. There's something mildly concerning about the childlike glee she has in recounting this tale. Oh, oh, they're juking you. Go on, line them up. Go, 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 go! I grabbed on tight. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Okay. Huh? Huh? Oh, okay, so this is related to the clip that I saw. So I didn't know anything about this game, apparently. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Uh-huh. This is making me want sushi. <laughs> it's making me want to throw up. Yeah. Fimsy does not deal well with first person perspective games, especially ones that aren't just standard human hey, motion games. Can you try? Okay. I was so, I've got my really tentacle. Sick. Oh, okay. 
before. It's, it's the... Yeah, I was gonna say I've not played this before. So... Don't you think I'm a monster. You're trying to... No, I'm a monster. I can't hack this, Rob. Sorry. I'm you can't hack it. All right. No, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. You can continue playing. Though. Well, Don't the, I'll just finish off the game because, like I said, it's not yeah. a long game. It's. It makes me feel really queasy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really like this, and I really wanted to play this, but I can't. Where are those tasty humans? Ironically enough, I just finished playing Carrion, which is a game where you play as a giant tentacle monster that eats people. So. Hello. I guess I... Uh, oh no, there we go, I can eat you now. <laughs> Young human is what a monster would say. Yes, it would. Okay, let's go out the door then. Oh, uh... Alright, so I'm gonna eat the captain of the ship. Hello, captain of the ship. You're gonna get eaten now. Last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelt a good meal. Something I had to have. Something so I swam new. towards it. Arian is amazing. Uh, I wasn't massively enthusiastic about it, I to be honest. Onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Like, I got the concept of the game, and it's a really interesting game, but, you know, once you've, like, explored the concept of being a monster and being able to eat people and use your powers to basically do different things, like, yeah, there's not really much to it. Okay, uh, let's see, where are we going? We're in a bathroom. I got closer and closer. Hang on, we're back in, well, this is Molly's room. Okay. Closer and closer to what? Windows open? What's this? I'm trying to see if we can actually change the perspective. I don't think I can. Just slithering through. Okay, well. Uh, what's on the floor here? Oh. All my, All stomach. my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be a monster under the bed. Okay. 